Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Cancer. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Cancer, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine, and no one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed. Um, also, um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that's tailored to your energy specifically and or situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me, so definitely check that out. Um, if there's going to be an extended to this reading, that will be in the description box below or the comment section below, so definitely check that out if there is one. Um, also, too, um, I'm doing another freebie Friday, and that is this Friday, November 18th, 2022, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope that you are there. Um, you have to be a subscriber to my channel in order to um, comment your question. And you have to be 18 years or older to participate. Um, it's on my community tab. It has a, a couple other little rules there. But definitely go check that out, and I hope that you attend. All right, here we go. Cancer, what's going on with you? Let's see. Spirit, what's going on with what's going on with cancer and love and in life, please, Spirit? Cancer, please. Okay, sirrah, so sirrah. So what will be will be. So let live, you know, live and let live. Basically. Cha cha cha. So it's like live and let live or what will be will be and you're making moves or somebody here is making moves. It's like with Cha 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 in, in the case of Ross Ra, it's like somebody's got two left feet and they don't know how to make moves. Okay. Love potion number nine. Somebody here might be doing love spells. Or candle candle magic okay you or somebody else I, mean, I don't know remember it can always be vice versa yeah somebody is also saying do it yourself you could be going to somebody to ask them to do a love spell bullseye at the bottom of the deck you could be going to somebody asking them to do a love spell for you um, but they're telling you to do it yourself I get a lot of come back to me or come to me spells you could be doing this or somebody else is doing this towards you and literally, somebody's telling you to do it yourself. What else, please, for cancer? Pop, pop the cord. There's a celebration that's coming, too, as well. Maybe you're going out dancing with someone. You're going out celebrating. There's a ring here, too. Somebody might be getting engaged, but there's a love spell here. Whom? Okay, it could be the cross watcher, or you know, it could be you. I don't know. Um, it, somebody here is going to go to somebody or has now. This could be something from the past, currently going on, or this could be coming towards you in the future. And my readings can tend to be very future predictive, so I've been told. So this could be something that's coming up. Somebody is going to go get love spells in order to get somebody to propose to them. And whomever they're going to is telling this person to do the love spell yourself. Yep. So, yeah, there's a cause for celebration with the pop the cork in the ring. But... Is it really real because there's love spells here? Seek a, seek a higher power. Somebody here, I'm telling you, somebody here is trying to go petition their petition God, petition the Holy Spirit, or petition angels, or petition deities, or their gods, or ancestors, or somebody, in order to get this done. And they're literally saying, do it yourself. What else, please? For cancer. Jackpot. Somebody's also looking to get money as well. Somebody here wants celebration, 
So to be celebrated, they want marriage, okay, but they all, and they want money, but they're going about it through magic. And the higher power here is saying, or a practitioner is saying, and a higher power is saying, do it yourself. Yeah, somebody here has cut ties with somebody, or they will, and somebody here wants this person back. Please stand by. Tell me more. Stormy weather. Somebody's finances is about to take a hit, too. Somebody here is cutting ties with you, or you cut ties with somebody, and the other person wants, the, uh, wants somebody back. I get a lot of come-to-me spells, or come-back-to-me spells, or... I don't know, candle magic or seek, you know, trying to petition the divine or deities or ancestors to, to do this for them. And they're being told, do it yourself. And somebody's finances are getting hit too with the stormy weather. And it's a lot of money. Because somebody here wants all, and everybody wants it, right? Somebody wants love, they want to be celebrated, and they want money, Right? But they're going about it through some type of spell work. And to get somebody back, to get money, to get to be celebrated. And the divine is saying, I'm going to bring in a storm. Do it yourself. I'm not going to bring this in for you. Whomever I'm talking. This could be cross It doesn't have to be you, Cancer. Okay? Do it yourself. Tell me more. Lucky. Somebody here wants their luck to change. And again, I keep getting this. Yeah, this could be bad. This could be bad. And choose your words carefully. Bottom of the deck. Somebody's, okay. But it, it, okay, so whomever, I don't know who's doing it. Whomever is the one who's doing the spell work. The love spells, the money spells. All this stuff, right? Seeking the higher higher powers or the powers that be for this. Deities, whomever. They're calling in a storm for themselves. This could be bad and choose your words carefully. Because spirit has already told this person to do it themselves. That they're not going to do it for them. Or a practitioner has said this to someone. What else, please? Dearest wishes come true in reverse. So, cross watcher, if you're doing spell work to get a cancer to come back to you, and doing spell work for money and doing spell work for, you know, being recognized or acknowledgement or celebrated. For or you want your wishes to come true. It's not happening. The divine or higher power has said no. Do it yourself. Or a practitioner has said do it yourself. Somebody here wants somebody to call them. Somebody here wants somebody to call them. But they cut ties. Somebody here doesn't want to speak to the other person. Cross watcher, cancer doesn't want to speak to you. Or cancer, this person doesn't want to speak to you. Okay. I want to look at... The love potion, do it yourself, higher power, stormy weather, this could be bad, choose your words carefully and dearest wishes come true in reverse. And all these cards are in the upright, in the extended, so there will be an extended to this reading. Anything else, please, for cancer? 
Yeah, whoa, well, Nellie, like, somebody here needs to slow the roll here. This one wanted to come out, please stand by again. What's this one? Yeah, watch your back. What will be will be, and what isn't won't, right? I don't like this energy. I tell you that right now, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Whomever, whomever doesn't want to be called or dealt, whomever's cut ties. So cross watch, if you cut ties with cancer, you're telling them, stop. I don't want to speak to you. Or cancer, if you cut ties with somebody, you're telling them, stop. I don't want to speak to you. It's done. Right? And the other person, whomever this is, doesn't get it. That is done. Somebody here is like, whoa, 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 wait. Can we please talk about this? And crickets. Someone's getting white noise. Someone's getting crickets. Someone's like, nope. Mm -mm. And the other person's getting angry and saying, well, you better watch your back then. Kind of snarky, very snarky type of words, you know? What else does um, Cancer need to know? Two of Wands here. Someone's made a choice. Someone's made a choice or is making a choice here. And they're choosing a new direction. But you see how this person's holding a dagger? Someone's going to make a decision to stab someone in the back. Mm. Okay, what else please for cancer? Page of wands in reverse. Somebody here doesn't want to talk to somebody who stabbed them in the back. Whomever got stabbed in the back does not want to speak to the other person whatsoever. Like, no. Yep, the sun in reverse. They don't want to talk to this person. They don't need clarity. They don't need to give clarity. They don't want to hear it. We have the strength card in the in the reverse as well. Someone here just does not want to deal with it. Mm -mm. But the five of cups in reverse, they don't care if the other person is sorry. They don't care that they want to apologize. They don't care. Maybe you don't care. Maybe they don't care. I don't know. But somebody here doesn't does literally does not want to speak to the other person, like at all with the three of wands in reverse. Somebody here is not waiting on the other person anymore. They're not talking to this person anymore. They don't want to deal with this person. Aries energy, they don't want to deal with this person anymore. Four of swords in reverse. They're, they don't want to deal with somebody's impulsiveness anymore. Recklessness is what I just heard. With the six of cups reverse, it's somebody from the past. With the seven of pentacles in reverse, somebody here is no longer a past person. It's no longer willing to invest. You could be that past person, cancer, or your person doesn't want to invest in this anymore. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, though? Show me the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Two of Pentacles. Because somebody here just loves to play a lot of games. Someone's made very bad choices, life choices, life decisions. You know, doing the most. And the other person just doesn't want to deal with it. With the Ten of Wands in the reverse, somebody here has just done, has dropped it. Somebody here has dropped this completely, and they just do not want to deal with it. Somebody does not want to have any emotional communication. They don't want to offer an apology. They don't want to receive one. They don't want to give one. They want nothing to do with the other person. Whomever this is, Cancer, you could be completely freaking done with somebody. And they just don't want to let it go. Or, Cancer, somebody is completely done with you, and you don't want to let it go. Mm -mm. somebody here does want to apologize for the heartbreak and the betrayal that they caused to some type of connection here but somebody here just does not want it they just they do not want it whatsoever nope somebody here does not want the connection somebody here is out out somebody here is 100% over it and done anything else please And it's an emperor. They're in the upright. They don't want this anymore. Yep. 
five of pentacles in the upright they they want to leave this done whomever this is could be an aries or taurus leo they don't want it they don't want it they really don't want this relationship whomever this person is now it doesn't matter about gender gender identity purposes orientation whatever in tarot or readings but this person just does not want it they don't want it or cross watcher cancer doesn't want it place yourself where it fits okay this is a wrap it feels kind of finite kind of finito kind of completely done you know what I mean let me grab a different deck and see if there's anything else I pick up on. Let me look at your energy real quick. Show me Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer directly. Show me Cancer. So, ooh, Seven of Swords. This is a totally different deck. So you could be lying. You could have cheated. You could have stole. You could have but you betrayed someone, or they betrayed you. But show me, tell me more. Why is the seven of swords showing up for Cancer? Death in reverse. Somebody here lied about changing. They haven't, or you haven't, or somebody lied about somebody else, and yeah, seven of wands in reverse. Someone's very, very defensive. Someone has put up very clear boundaries with you, Cancer, or you're about to put up very clear boundaries. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, I don't feel like you have any love for this person. It feels like you just wanted to win, and that was a very bad decision with a judgment reverse. Or, again, this could be this person, right? Show me the person that Cancer's dealing with. This reader. Yep, Nine of Wands. This person's really putting up boundaries. They're not even looking your direction. Yep, with the Ace of Swords, they have the truth. They know the truth. And that's all that matters to them. With the Hierophant in reverse, there's no commitment here. There's no, um, they don't want commitment here with you. Or you don't want commitment here with them. Show me more. Yeah, Ace of Wands in the upright. This person has the truth and they're move, taking action with that truth. They are letting go. Four Pentacles reverse. They're letting go. Tell me more. Eight of Swords. Now, they, they make it up in their head sometimes, but they're letting go. Or they're letting go of being stuck in their head about the situation. They don't even think about it anymore. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, they're just focusing on themselves. Place yourself where it fits. Okay, if it doesn't, if you're not this person, then maybe this is you or vice versa. Okay. The other person just doesn't want this. Whomever this is, whether it's you, whether it's them, whomever, they just don't want it. They're putting up very strong, very high boundaries against the other person. You could be putting very strong boundaries against the other person. Or maybe they're doing that with you. They just, somebody here does not want to talk to the other person. The other, whomever this is, does not want to speak ever with the other person ever again. Mm -mm. Yeah. There is possibly the Hermit reverse with the Six of Pentacles reverse. Could be a Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra energy. This person is not wanting to give to this connection or you don't want to give to them. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, this person looks like they're pulling back with the Four of Swords here, or you are. Why is the Hermit Reverse? Somebody just doesn't want to learn their lesson here. Hermit Reverse. The Star Reverse. Somebody, it's not Wish Fulfillment, Aquarius Energy. It's not Wish Fulfillment. Mm -mm. It's not Healing with the Moon here. That's your energy. That's Cancer Pisces here. It's not wish fulfillment. Somebody doesn't see you as wish fulfillment, or you don't see them as wish for, or in, and or they don't see you as wish fulfillment. Somebody feels like they will have better 
luck or better happiness with the six of wands here offering their cup of love somewhere else or their friendship or their family connection or you know romantic love somewhere else they they don't want it somebody here just or you don't want it somebody here just really doesn't want the other person anymore it feels like this is like completely done and the and the reason the reason why somebody's going to the extreme to ask either a practitioner to do spell work or asking a um going to the higher powers or the powers that be or deities or god or whatever to intercede for for them the higher power is saying do it yourself or for them to do it themselves you know because it's it's basically a wrap here there's nothing there's not there's no real connection or there's no there's no coming back i don't know what happened but there's no coming back from whatever was done all right let's see okay i'm going to that into the extended i'm going to look at those cards that i told you about in the very beginning of the reading i want to get some more details on that okay who is cancer dealing with regarding this reading and i'll get some more details too who is cancer dealing with regarding this reading here we go an aquarius possibly really can be any sign but i'll pull them for you taurus gemini aries leo capricorn or virgo sagittarius at the bottom of the deck so cancer you could be dealing with a sagittarius um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In your chart and or in their chart or combination of the two because we have all the different signs in our chart, right? Let's see what we get for Scrabble title. Um, so this could be first, middle, last initial of your name and or their name or make words and things like that. What do you have for Cancer, please? Okay. Let me sort them out real quick, okay? If you're dealing with a Gemini Cancer or have Gemini in your chart, I would go check out that reading because that was, it was very good for Gemini and they have completed a cycle with someone and they're moving on. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or you have Gemini in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, go check out that reading, okay? All right, I'm almost done. Here we go. All right, first letter is S, T, X, A, E, F, H, I, S, O, N T A M I and W. All right. There's that. Let me get you some guidance and then we'll go into the extended okay. What guidance? What guidance do you have for Cancer Spirit regarding this reading? What guidance do you have for Cancer regarding this reading, please? The Veil in Reverse. Okay, let me get my book. Crossing, Revealing Truth, and Concealment. Okay, and it says, When the veil is in reverse, know that there are truths that are being concealed. There are some things about your situation that have not come to light and now is not a good now is not a good time to make any decisions. You are going to need to wait until you have more information. There could also be someone who some excuse me, there could also be some people who are not being completely honest with you. Trust your intuition. The first person you thought of is likely the one holding back from you. Be watchful. And keep your ears open to inconsistencies until you know more. Mm. The 
there you have it. You're being lied to. And I feel like somebody, either you're being, I feel like you're being lied to or you are lying about someone. And I'm not trying to judge you or place blame. I, I give the messages as they're given to me. Take them or leave them. Okay. Um, somebody here is doing magic in order to get the other person to come back to them. Okay. Or to manifest, to look for this person to come back, to manifest money and all those things in spirit, the higher powers, the powers that be are like, no, do it yourself. It's like someone has burnt out their magic. Not like you, you can't really lose your magic, but like you can overdo something. You know, you can overdo tarot. You can overdo magic. You can overdo a lot of things. You can overeat. You know what I'm saying? It's just like anything else. Sometimes you got to take a little bit of a break. Let let the energy settle. So, yeah. I'm going to look at this too in the extended. I want to see what you're not seeing. Okay. The link to the extended will be in the description box below and comment section below. Um... I'm going to look at these cards from the very beginning. I'm going to look at the veil in reverse, okay? We're going to see exactly what this is about. I also want to see what this is about. The stormy weather, this could be bad. Okay. You're not getting your wish come true right now. And that doesn't mean you won't ever have your wishes come true. It just maybe you have to have a different wish. If that makes sense. That may not make sense. But anyways, the link to that, again, is in the excuse me, description box below and the comment section below. Please check it out. And um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I love you guys. Okay? I'll see you in the extended. Take care of yourself till next time.